This video is going to be dedicated to all the Tesla safety features that may potentially save your life. By the end of this video, you'll discover some Tesla features that you probably didn't even know about even if you're a current Tesla owner. I'm going to show you guys some safety features today that I didn't even know about in my 17 months of ownership. The Tesla has 8 cameras and 12 ultrasonic sensors to help it drive autonomously. But when the Tesla is not driving and it's parked, it uses the cameras and the sensors to act as a security system for the car. To activate it, all you need to do is click on this terminator looking eye on the top right of your Tesla screen. Or if you're a Rick and Morty fan, all you have to say is keep summer safe and the sentry mode will activate. When sentry mode is activated, it'll record any activity around the car. It'll record everything and everyone that moves around the car even if they don't have any malicious intent. And they're just simply admiring your Tesla. Sometimes you'll find footage that are a little bit funny other times you'll have evidence if someone were to ever break into your car. Another Tesla feature that can potentially save your life is all the safety features that come in conjunction with the Tesla Autopilot. Tesla Autopilot has prevented thousands of accidents in the past from unattentive drivers. But what about when Tesla Autopilot is disengaged? Let's say you were on your phone and not paying attention to the road. The Tesla will sound a loud alarm if it thought you were about to have an accident. In another words, if you were a careless Tesla owner who fell asleep while using autopilot in the highway, the Tesla will initially try to get your attention with a few loud beeps and ask you to put your hand back on the steering wheel. And if you were still fast asleep and completely ignored the Tesla, the Tesla will immediately pull over and let other drivers know that you fell asleep in the Tesla by turning the hazards on. And if you were lucky enough to not be woken up by the police and still continue driving, the Tesla won't allow you to put your car back into autopilot again. But if you were to still fall asleep without the autopilot engaged, the Tesla lane keep assist will still keep you from going off the road. And if you ignore Tesla's messages to go take a break and still kept on driving, the Tesla will take away lane keep assist from you as well. Another mind-blowing safety feature that I found out after 17 months of ownership it's the Tesla's ability to mimic a highway safety feature that saves millions of lives every year. And this is the Tesla's ability to mimic rumble strips. Rumble strips are the strips that you see on the side of the highway that are designed to wake you up. When you go over the rumble strips, it makes a loud noise and a vibration on your steering wheel. When you veer off of your lane in the Tesla, the Tesla will automatically send out a vibration to your steering that mimics the rumbling strips. The Tesla also comes in with the basic safety feature that almost all cars come with nowadays, which is blind spot detection. But after a couple of months of ownership and a couple of updates later, Tesla gave us the ability to use both the side fender cameras in real time along with the back camera. I mainly use this in very tight and narrow drive throughs and to avoid any curb rash when I'm parking very close to the curb. I'm hoping that with future updates, this feature is only going to get better. For example, if I wanted to change lanes and I would indicate left, I would want the left fender camera to automatically pop up. I would prefer this more over the side mirror as we know that the side mirror is flawed with blind spots. This is a feature that is still not available today as of July 2021. This is similar that something we have today with the back camera popping up as we reverse. In the past, Tesla has been known to listen to their customers and push out new features with over-the-air software updates. For example, this guy named Joe tweeted to Elon about the loud Tesla notification waking his kids up. So Tesla sent out an over-the-air software update called Joe Mode. This would essentially lower the volume of the chimes made by the Tesla so that Joe's kids would not wake up in the rear seat. So if you guys like this super convenient feature that I mentioned before, like and share this video and tweet out to Elon about this idea. Every Tesla comes standard with basic autopilot and a full self-driving computer. The full self-driving computer is there because if you ever thought about upgrading to the full self-driving package, you could do it with a click of a button. 
the hardware is already there so all you have to do is go to your tesla app and pay the ten thousand dollars but i usually recommend people to stay with the free basic autopilot it can do 99 percent of the autonomous driving in the highway and most of the driving in the city streets you also have the ability to turn on full self-driving visualization this will kind of give you an idea what full self-driving would actually feel like if you were to buy it this will allow you to see all the road signs the red lights and the stop signs It'll also sound a loud warning if it saw that you were about to run a red light. If all these safety features that I talked about still doesn't work and you have the unfortunate circumstance of getting into an accident, you would be more likely to walk away in a Tesla than any other car. All Teslas have the highest safety rating in each of their category. And there's examples of this in real life with Tesla owners getting in high speed crashes and walking away with just a few scratches. Tesla not only cares about the safety of the passengers and the driver inside the vehicle, but also people outside. For example, if your Tesla was ever driving through a construction zone, you will see that the Tesla reduces the speed automatically less than the speed limit so that it's safer to pass the construction zone. This is especially considered when there's workers actively working in the construction site. The Tesla also has quick acceleration that can get you out of a tight spot. Unrealistically, if you were in the train tracks and you saw a train coming, you could punch the accelerator and the immediate acceleration would get you out of the train tracks right then and there. But realistically, this quick acceleration saved me from getting T-boned on an intersection when a drunk driver ran a red light on a Saturday night. Other convenient safety feature would be the ability to control child lock from your center screen. So you no longer have the inconvenience of getting out and adjusting the child lock. Although this feature would be a little bit alarming if you were a serial killer or a kidnapper. So if you know of any way to bypass this, comment down below. For example, both the frunk and the trunk are legally required to have a button that you could press if you were ever stuck inside. If you have ever seen videos like this online of people getting out of their cars and their vehicles rolling away and causing a massive accident, this is something that would be impossible in the Tesla. Not only will Tesla's door open when the car is running, even with the car's doors unlocked, it'll also not drive away if you forget to put the car in park. The door will only open when the car comes to a complete stop, and even if you forget to put the car in park, the car will automatically put itself to park if you open the door. One benefit of owning the Tesla is that you almost always get the latest features because of over-the-air software updates. Unlike traditional manufacturers where newer cars have better features, a 2019 Tesla owner can enjoy the same bells and whistles as of a 2021 Tesla owner. You get about two to three software updates per month that would either give you more games, bug fixes, or even more features to your Tesla. For example, a new software update will automatically close your windows if you ever forget to roll them back up after a drive. You will also get notifications straight to your Tesla app if you ever left a door open on your Tesla. And even if you accidentally switch off the Bluetooth on your phone and the phone key does not work on your Tesla anymore, the Tesla will automatically send out a notification straight to your phone letting you know if you left your doors unlocked or your windows opened. Other than the sentry mode safety feature that we talked about in the beginning of this video, if someone were to ever break into your car, sentry mode would trigger the car alarm and send out a notification straight to your phone letting you know that someone has broken into your car. And Tesla had to be a little bit different on car alarms as well. Okay, so this is gonna get a little bit wild and I might have to mute this if the music is copyrighted, but this is what happens when you try and break into a Tesla. <laughs> And if you ever see someone snooping around your car, you can remotely use the headlights and also honk the horn with your Tesla app. Also, if you have outside parking and you were planning to charge your Tesla outside, the Tesla chargers also come in with a lock that you can only unlock if your phone key is nearby. You can also use your phone to open or close the charge port or even unlock or lock the charge port. There's also a lot of non-safety features, but interesting features that you get every month with over-the-air software updates. This keeps the Tesla ownership fresh and fun every month, and that is something that you don't get with other car manufacturers. I mean, what other car has a fart machine both inside and outside the car to have fun with your friends with? 
And what other car has games that you can use the own steering wheel to play with? Not to mention the ability to have streaming services to watch when you supercharge your Tesla. But in other electric cars, you're just waiting and dying in boredom for 30 to 40 minutes while your car charges. Hopefully other car manufacturers will catch on and start to implement some of these things in their cars as well. That's the end of this video. As always, thanks to everyone watching and thanks for everyone who used my Tesla referral code to get themselves 1500 kilometers of free supercharging and to get me 1500 kilometers of free supercharging. I'm almost at the milestone of reaching 50 referrals. So if you were thinking about buying a Tesla, use my Tesla referral code down in the description. And if you have already bought a Tesla without a Tesla referral code, you can still give your Tesla sales advisor my referral code and they'll add it onto your account and you'll get 1500 kilometers of free supercharging. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it